in the movie, they um, didn't want to include me in the film. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Um, Did you ultimately, were you ultimately able to get to film in Aquaman 2? A very pared down version of that role, yes. Warner Brothers have a secret plan in place to get enough time to replace Amber with a new actor in Aquaman 2. Amber is one of the least popular figures in the movie industry right now, and Warner Brothers doesn't want anything to do with her. According to many people, the movie studio may already look at other actresses to secretly replace her to avoid facing a financial disaster in their upcoming Aquaman 2 movie. But will they go ahead with something this huge? Keep on watching to find out. A post made by a user on popular social media site Twitter has opened up a new can of worms and given rise to several theories regarding Amber's future in the Aquaman franchise. According to this person, I honestly don't care about boycotting Aquaman 2 anymore. WB had plenty of time to remove Amber, but they didn't so I just won't see the movie. She's finished in Hollywood anyways, while Johnny Depp is getting more opportunities and that's all that matters. This fan wasn't the only one who shared the sentiment. Another user wrote, Well, it's rumored she'll be out, but the fact that they put it out until next year makes you think they're hoping they can just leave it and it's died down by then. Before we go any further, just a quick reminder for our users though, this video is completely based on opinions and theories and does not aim to come off as demeaning to anyone mentioned in this video and outside. Getting back to Amber, it was already rumored that her screen time in the upcoming Aquaman sequel will already be cut short, but now it seems that we may not see her in the movie entirely. It is plausible that Warner Brothers delay the movie just enough to reshoot a few scenes with a new actress to play the Princess of Atlantis, Mira. This option would be much better than going ahead with Amber as Mira for the movie. Fans have already made it known that they plan on boycotting the movie, so it's highly likely that the movie will bomb at the box office. At one point, there were even rumors suggesting Warner Brothers had cut Hurd's role and was looking to bring in a new actress to play the role of Mira for the follow-up to 2018 box office success. Among the actresses who emerged as a favorite to replace Heard was Jason Momoa's former Game of Thrones co-star Emilia Clarke, whose fans continue to express interest in seeing take over the role of Mira. Although there seems to be an eagerness from fans to see Emilia Clarke take on the role of Mira for the upcoming Aquaman sequel, Warner Brothers Discovery has not announced any plans to recast the role, though execs did confess to considering the move. While testifying during the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial early Earlier this year, president of DC Films Walter Hamada revealed this. Just the the fact that they didn't really have a lot of chemistry together. Um, you know, the, the reality is, it's not uncommon on movies for for two leads to not have chemistry, and that it's sort of movie magic and editorial, the ability to sort of put performances together, and with the magic of you know. A great score and and how you put the pieces together you can you can fabricate sort of that chemistry who knows maybe the warner brothers top brass actually take these chemistry issues seriously and go ahead with the plan to replace amber with amelia who would make a much better mira since her acting abilities greatly surpass those of amber's just take a look at this scene from aquaman if you don't believe us i'll be right back i'm going anywhere Meanwhile, this would be her replacement. Go by Gavi! Axios and das, mentios and das, Giloni pilos lue vale dolvios in a das, ininini a trica das, orne lue dolve prija das! Dracaris! These tweets also make it very clear that Warner Brothers can't afford to have another controversy on its hands, especially after the disastrous failures of movie like the original Justice League, the first Suicide Squad, the second Wonder Woman, as well as the uncertainty surrounding the upcoming Flash movie following Ezra Miller's criminal activities. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.